shapes. This algebra nation video will cover the right side of page 97. And hopefully, you're paying attention during these videos so that when you get to the big game or you get to the EOC, you don't channel your inner Peyton Manning or your inner Broncos. That would not get you a 399 or higher. Can you say denied? A divide monomial. And to divide a monomial over a monomial, we're going to divide the coefficients and subtract the exponents. You'll simplify the coefficients, and for the variables, if there's no match for the variable, leave it alone. If there is a match, you'll subtract the exponents. So if we look at this first example, let's look at it like this. So I want to remind you that when you look at a monomial over a monomial, remember the exponents. We have j to the fifth and j cubed, which means we have five j's on top and three on the bottom. Notice that. For n squared and n to the fourth. Again, we have two n's on top and four on bottom all multiplied by each other. And now that I've gone ahead and expanded everything, you can simplify whatever is the same on the top and the bottom. Let's get rid of a j, another j. I see another j. There's an n and another n. And hey, there's that v at the very end. So we've simplified all the variables. So now we're down to j times j, which is j squared, n times n, which is n squared. And 30 over 20 would reduce to 3 halves. And that would be your final answer. However, to go ahead and actually work this out on paper now, check this out. We would start with, again, dividing monomials, divide the coefficients, subtract the exponents. So here we go. 30 over 20. What goes into 30 and 20? You have to realize, what is the common factor? And in this case, the common factor is 10. 10 will go into 30 and 20. 10 goes into 20. 2 times, 10 goes into 30, 3 times. So therefore, we have 3 on the numerator and 2 on the denominator. We have j to the fifth power on the numerator and j to the third power on the denominator. So we have 5 minus 3 will give you 2 left on the numerator. I have n squared in the numerator and n to the fourth in the denominator, meaning that I have more on the bottom, so the answer has to be on the bottom. As opposed to with j, I have more j's on the numerator, so the answer stay in the numerator. Here, I have more n's on the denominator, so the answer would be on the denominator. You would subtract 4 minus 2 and give you 2 left in the denominator. V and V would completely simplify, nothing left. And we have just a little lonesome X by itself. And that was the final answer you saw, and that's the final answer we're getting. So we're going to practice again. We're going to divide the coefficients and subtract the exponents. In fact, V over V, that would have been, remember, 1 and 1, and 1 minus 1 is 0, and anything to the 0th power, if you recall, is 1, and it's gone. So for this next one, check it out. You're going to be asked to simplify the following. So if we're dividing, we're going to divide the coefficients, subtract the exponents. 6 over negative 8. Let's look at the coefficients, the numbers first. With 6 over negative 8, what are they divisible by? They're both divisible by, they both have a factor of 2 in common. 2 goes into 6 3 times, 2 goes into 8 4 times, or rather negative 4 times, and so the final coefficients would be 3 over negative 4. Now we look at all the variables. f over f will completely simplify, because it's the same. g squared and g cubed g to the second and g to the third. I have different powers. I'm going to subtract. I have more g's on the bottom, so that means the answer is going to stay on the bottom. It's going to stay on the denominator. 3 minus 2 will give you g to the first left on the denominator. And those are taken care of. r to the sixth over r to the fourth. Again, I'm going to subtract, and where do I have more of? I have more on the numerator. So the answer will be in the numerator for r r to the 6, r to the 4. 6 minus 4 is 2, and I'll leave you r squared in the numerator. Now the final answer, you probably won't see a first power up there, so the final answer might look something like this. 3 over negative 4, r squared, and g on the denominator. 
So again, just making sure you realize that you won't see that first power because it's always implied there is a first power, and that'd be your final answer. So again, we're going to divide the coefficients and subtract the exponents when you're dividing monomials.